Welcome to our last section in the technology lectures, the third one, lecture 2.3. And uh, here we wrap up our uh, technology discussion by creating a graphical means in which we can look at all of the technology uh, pieces that we've assembled in our analysis up till now. We create a graphical structure that'll represent both the number of uh, technologies that we're considering for um, possibly being incorporated in an innovation, uh, as well as coming up with a construct to represent the uncertainty. Um, obviously, the more technologies that you are considering, the higher the uncertainty and the higher the risk. And so we'll try to incorporate all this into some graphical um, uh, representation that we'll use in the rest of, of this class. If I wanted to make a graphical universe of pen technology, I'm showing you over here on the left all of the things that we have listed. The clip, the ink, the, the way that the ink flows, the cap, the markers, the fountain, the fact it's a fountain pen. I didn't put ballpoint pens in here, but that's another area. So basically, uh, within this universe of pen technology, we've thought about as many as we can. Of course, it's not an exclusive set, an exhaustive set that there's many, many other things you could put in here. But uh, I'm just trying to show you that this is what you want to do when you start thinking about opening up an area for potential innovation. Look at what we are calling technology, which is all of the physical and uh, verifiable uh, physical things, as well as uh, potential software ideas, algorithms, uh, etc. Naturally, since I told you this is not an exhaustive, uh, exhaustive set, the question becomes, how many of these need to be considered anyway? Uh, I've just made a universe of this number. There could be a much larger number and a smaller number. Well, the way to think about that is that the more components, that is the more little circles I add to my universe, the more innovative the possibilities are. So um, if I change ink, and uh, whether it's disposable, or not, its size, its feel, and its performance, there's quite a few dots there. You can see that I would, I would be able to maybe come up with something that's uh, interesting to a, uh, to a consumer. Where if I only changed the cap, for example, I only picked one element uh, right here, and I only changed the cap, well, then I'm pretty much limiting, obviously, my innovative space more. So clearly, the more dots here, the purple circles, that I'm willing to consider, the, the more possibilities there are for innovation. Of course, the, there's a, a, a downside to that because the more components that I consider, the higher the risk and uncertainty. So um, yes, um, I would love to be able to consider all of the circles shown here and that would maximize my chance for finding a new unique combination that the uh, user has not seen before. Uh, but of course, that means that uh, I'm spending a lot more time and uh, really the way that those elements, there's so many of them, the way that would come in, the uncertainty is much higher. The risk is much higher. Again, if I were to just look at the cap and only consider the cap, most people could understand I could show you different colors, I could show you different shapes, different mechanisms. But now, if I consider many, many elements, I have to think about all of those different parameters and how they intersect and, and how they would look in an in a integrated pen and, and how it would affect performance. And so all this possibility and all this effort, time, and, and really investment means that my risk is higher because I really can't be assured that I'm going to come up with some sort of unique combination. So the more components I consider, I have more innovation space, but the risk and the uncertainty is higher, and that's the trade-off. So just to finish with our little graphical representation here, the black circle then around the outside represents uh, the total uncertainty. So in other words, the more uh, purple dots that I'm going to consider, the larger the black circle uh, will be. And so therefore, the size of that black circle 
represents the total uncertainty. The reason we're setting this up is obviously if you want to be more innovative, you have to open up the black circle and consider more and more uh, technologies in the universe of the pen, but it's going to take longer and more investment and more time to try to converge on that special possible new space that I'm trying to find. And so the larger the circle also, not only is the uncertainty greater, but the research and the thinking that I need to do in order to narrow the possibilities is going to be much more intense. It's going to take more resources and take longer. So just keep that in mind as we go forward and that'll become important in a few, a few lectures from now. So let's summarize the lecture on our first element, the technology element. Uh, we used a very simple example of the pen technology. If we use something more advanced, then it kind of confuses the situation. So by starting with a simple pen, I hope you're able to see how you might go about listing the universe of technologies that may be important for uh, your particular innovation that you might be thinking of. So you should hopefully after this short presentation be able to develop a universe of technology for any potential innovation that um, it's re really not that much more complex than we've described here you may have to do more research and more thinking about it because uh, a particular innovation space might not be as simple as the pen nonetheless after this example you should be able to list the critical technologies the future possible technologies and the pieces of science uh, behind uh, any innovation space. So as an exercise, hearing is one thing, but doing is another. And uh, I'm sure this all seems pretty straightforward at this point. However, uh, again, seeing is believing and doing is believing. If you go through it yourself, you'll really start to understand how to develop this technology universe in this first element. So uh, here I show you some simple reading glasses. They come in a nice uh, case which folds up small as you can see up here in the top figure and then when I open them up uh, there's some uh, metal frames, plastic protectors on the end and some lenses with the usual little plastic uh, parts for your to rest on your nose. So uh, here we have some very practical drugstore glasses. And uh, why don't you um, now go through that and list the technologies and develop a universe for uh, technologies in this uh, reading glass innovation. Mm -hmm.